Hey guys, welcome out to the range. You know, I've come to the realization that there is no pleasant way to work barriers. When I'm working with my suppressed rifle, I can work barriers from back here, which is ideally where you want to be working from cover. You want to keep your muzzle inside of the area that you're working so that the bad guys can't really tell where those shots are coming from, uh, which is one more thing that suppressors do for you. The problem with suppressors is they make short guns long, so for example, an 11.3, 11.5 becomes 16 something with a can on it. And so now you've lost the, the compactability of the weapon. Also, when you're shooting a can on a short gun, the system backs up faster and it blows a lot more junk in your face, which is why I'm a little congested today. Because the last several days in a row I've been running my 11.5 with a suppressor because I like it so much. It's a really smooth shooting gun, as you guys can see. It doesn't push, it doesn't kick, it's a really pleasant gun to shoot. So uh, I got out my shorty and I've got a, a comp on the end which vectors all that noise down range and it basically allows you with all honesty that is so pleasant to shoot. You'll notice that when I was working the different cutouts in the, in the barrier I would come up to it and then I would push through. I'm able to drive the gun into the palm of my hand and create tension to get the shot. It, it basically allows you to get your shots off faster and then the last thing that I'll leave you with is this. When I went to get up you'll notice that what did I do? I, I literally opened my hands and released the gun to the ground. Pushed off the ground, got up to my feet, gained control of the gun, and then rolled back out around the corner safety off, took a shot. Don't be afraid, I, I know I've done this before in a video, don't be afraid to treat your long gun like what it is, a tool. It's a life-saving tool, treat it like a tool. That doesn't mean take the thing and, you know, start using it like a baseball bat. Allow it to make contact with the ground. We're not talking about dropping it from up here, I'm talking about just laying it onto the ground when I go to get up. I used to be so persnickety about my long guns touching the ground because I didn't want him to get scratched. But the fact is, it's a tool. And once you get to the point where you start treating things like tools, then you, honestly, you start to use it the way it was meant to be used and you start to appreciate it more and more. So anyways, that's what I got for you guys today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.